Oh, honestly, there's nothing funny about this men in wigs. Be. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. I'm going to click that straight away. As soon as this goes live, I'll be clicking thumbs down. Hello. Good evening. Pull up a pew. Welcome to our uh, lovely little snug pub. Uh, or the, it's a snug inner pub. Yeah, isn't it? it's the corner bit where Ina and Martha sit. What, what we need you to do is as soon as you hear a voice, let us know that you can hear our voices. It's not um, mute, so it should be all working. Yeah, fingers crossed we're working. Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. Thank you, Sandra Brown. Hello, Lisa Driscoll. You're here. You've uh, you turned up late, I think, last time. I didn't think you were going to come. Welcome. Uh, let's do a little roll call of who we've got on the uh, on the channels. I'm going to go through Facebook. So hello to Sean. Hi to Joanna. Dolly. Dolly Hi. Sally. Hello to my mum and dad. Alison Davies. Welcome. Get the buffet. Get out of here. Uh, Joel William Hazeldean. Hello. Sue Neal. Her Majesty Sue Neal from the Scottish Borders. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome to James Brett, who is a live Gigglebox virgin. So welcome. Uh, Lisa Driscoll. I've mentioned Sarah Price. Hello. Tracy Willingham. Whoop, whoop. Uh, who have I got? Dorcas Garlic. Caroline Croft. Sarah Price. Jason Darcy. Adele Henson. Dorcas Garlic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. On this side, we've got... Sandra Brown, who was the first one to pop by. She's popped a coat in the corner and she's sitting here with a with a drink. Uh, Helen Meadows, Rod Cooper and Charlotte are in the house. Uh, Linda Long, Diamond Trinket. Hello, boys. Joanne Gray, Sandra Brown again. Oh, it's the same Sandra Brown. Twins. And uh, Sasha Rogan Rescue Cat. Uh, Chris Monkey. 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 Uh, Nick Goodall and Michael Redfern. Hello, welcome, hello, welcome, and welcome, Diane. Welcome. Hello and welcome. So welcome to everyone. Um, Rodri and Charlotte are old, old friends. They have their friend Jules with them. Hello, Jules. Uh, hello, Jules. Jules is from Neath. 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 Yeah, nice. no, that's what he, what he... Apparently they were having a little drink. Uh, an American lady, I believe she got a little fruity. And she said, hey, so tell me where you're from. And he said, I'm from Neath. And she went, France, I love it. Um... And Caroline is here. Um, Caroline is my best friend from the age of about 13 when we defied her sister and we walked home from school together. And, and she's here with her little boy, Elliot. And did you to climb into her fridge? Yeah, I did. But that's another little tale. Um, look, welcome, everyone. Stephen Joseph Roberts here. Hello, Stephen. I think James will be with you. Stephen, um, Stephen birthed the Isolation Creations. By daring us originally it was because of him that we're to here. dress up as a TV show. Uh, look, welcome to everyone. We are in the giggle box. Uh, an hour with us. Marcia Maudsley is here. My lovely sister-in-law. Um, my brother isn't here. You'd You're rather play here. basketball. He took his son to play basketball. Uh, Mike Hudson, who is a new subscriber. Welcome, Mike. Thank you for joining us. Let us oh, know where you're is from. A, is a little isolation creation virgin. He only joined yesterday. We've had uh, loads of people find us because of keeping up appearances. It's done the rounds. I mean, one of the reasons why we decide to do it is I watched a little documentary about it. Documentary. And um, it said that it was uh, popular in about 47 countries in the world. And I thought, well, that's obviously a good one to do, isn't it? Well, it's gone, yeah, we've had almost 40,000 views on YouTube alone on that video. And without that, we wouldn't have got our own uh, Maureen and Bridget, would we? No, we wouldn't have introduced our lovely little trolls to the world. And thank you to those who sent in letters um, to the ladies who will answer your letter 
throughout the weeks. So she won't an- they won't answer them all tonight. Yeah, so Maureen and Bridget, for those who don't know, we when we did Keeping Up Appearances, it's always the really gentle shows that we do that invite kind of hatred, um, that have like really fierce fans. So like ABBA bought us a lot of fierce fans. And Keeping Up Appearances did. Two of them, Maureen and Bridget, were very vocal on Facebook. We decided to kind of own them. And so we created our own Maureen and Bridget characters. They are also known as Whinge and Block It. And um, they are now our agony ants. Well, they are your agony ants. So if you do have a problem, and if you, if you, if you do have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you know how to find them, maybe you can write to uh, Maureen and Bridget. So if you send us an email, dear agony ants, um, we can get it to them and they'll solve your problems. It might not be what, what you want to hear, but... But that's what they're there for. That's what they're here for. Um, let us hand over to, to Whinge and Block It right now, um, who uh, will be solving someone's problem. So Maureen, we're back here. We've got some more advice to dole out our wise wisdom. Well, we have been around a bit, haven't we? We have. So let's see what we've got in our post bag this week. Now, dealing with problems like this can be quite complicated. I've thought for a long, long time that it's far too easy to get married. It's harder to buy a three-piece suite on HP. Right, well, I've had a lovely letter here. This is from Marilyn. Dear Whinge and Blockett, The lady next door who lives alone has a pet rabbit, but not of the furry kind. I call it her Buzz Lightyear because she's very noisy with it when she's having her moments. Once it was 3am and even in the middle of the afternoon. Anyway, I was telling my two grandkids off, age seven and four, Mm. they can be noisy, but this electric lady has had the cheek to shout, shut up through the wall and stop shouting Mm. like some sort of school teacher. Now, I was tempted to play the chorus of Chaz and Dave's rabbit back at her on high volume, but I don't want to start a neighbour dispute. So what do I do? Thanks in advance, ladies. Oh, now that's tricky, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's tricky when it comes to personal items like uh, uh, battery-operated rabbits. Now, you could do it two ways. Mm. You could do what she says and put Chaz and Dave on, but wouldn't that just ruin the relationship? Well, I don't, I don't know if they've got a relationship. Well, I think it'd make it worse, wouldn't it? Most probably. The second thing you do is a girl will go around, grab it and hit her with it. But it must be done for sexual battery. Or the other thing you can do is most probably just sort of hint at it, like, um, could I hear a, a bee's nest in your bedroom last night? Well, that's an, I think that's most probably the best, uh, best advice. Go for the old bee's nest. My mate Rita actually went to a car boot sale the other day mm. and she found, oh, it must be about three or four hundred years old, a gold ornate dildo. Oh. Solid gold. What a word. I said, you're lucky you're sitting on a gold mine there. Well, I think, I think we've solved your problems there with that, Marilyn. Do, do write back and let us know how you get on. I'd go for the bees. bees uh, Wasp's nest. Wasp's nest. <laughs> Well, there we are. Uh, whinge and block it. Solve your problems. Uh, if you've got a problem, type it in, send it to us. We'll get them to answer it in due time. They do have quite a full sack um, of letters, but they can work their way through it. And if you have a burning issue, do get in touch. And is there one of those later? There's another. Yeah, we've got another uh, Agony Aunt problem solved later on in the show. So today, the Giggle Box uh, us. Our friends, we have Peggy with us. Oh, there she is. She's a... Uh, Marcia, can you see your lovely cushion? Yeah, that cushion was my birthday present from my sister-in-law, Marcia, who for my 40th birthday quilted me the most amazing Space Invaders quilt. And now the cushion is kind of the sequel um, for my birthday this year. I love it. Um, so we're all here and we're all here to chat telly really. So let me bring up the telly we're going to chat about. So I guess the first thing is, let's talk Strictly. 
Um, Strictly is now officially taking over the weekend because it's on both Saturday and Sunday night. You were really shocked at kind of how long Sunday night was going to be, weren't you? Oh, it was like it was like the length of Titanic, wasn't it? It was uh, about three hours long. Well, actually, it was because we spent about two and two and a half hours on Saturday night watching it, and, and then, then another Sunday now we're on there. And then apparently you can go on Twitter and watch stuff on there. And you can go to some kind of you've got Rylan every evening. You go to a Facebook group and read about things there. You go you go around the back of the studios and stalk them there. But let us know in the comments, are you watching Strictly? Are you enjoying it? Who's your favourite at the moment? Who's your least favourite? Let us know. Um, we felt really old in the... Um, we always feel in, old. We feel old, but in the, in the, the results show, because there was some young boy singing like with them all dressed as cowboys. Didn't know who he was. Um, and then there was a girl in a about girl eight, Griff. 18 foot yellow dress. Like yeah, that. they said coming up Griff. And I thought oh, Griff sounds like some sort of rough indie band. Um, and she was there up a step ladder with a big dress over it. Yeah, beautiful girl. Big, long, well, well strange dress. Uh, strange setup. Um, so Erica is loving the boys on Strictly. Yeah, oh. the two guys dancing together. My God, weren't they brilliant? They're so good. They're so, they've got a nice rapport with each other. I think that's the key, isn't it? It's the it's the yeah. You can tell they're like best mates, and they are living their best life. Um, and I felt sorry for Nina this week, who was asked to leave. Yeah, she, I, I, I just don't, I just don't didn't think there was any sort of a sort of rapport between her and a dance. I didn't really sort of see it. No, I did, like I don't this. You know, the giggle box is all about love, and we really don't like slating people or trolling people at all. But her dancer, but the awful word. I just don't think he's a very good choreographer. I think he's an, a great dancer. I think as a choreographer, he didn't show her off. He, he kind of showed. He showed him. And Nina's off. a wonderful actress. She's a comedian. She's been on our TV for years. She's a grafter. She's a hard worker. And I think she put one hundred and thirty percent into that dance. And for some reason, it just didn't come across. It was yeah, just. She was. She was gutted to be sent home. I think wasn't she? She loved wearing that dress, didn't she? She, um, she looked fierce. She, she looked fierce. Uh, Carol Brooks says that she thinks she's the only person in the UK that doesn't get Strictly. You're not. Alan, for like most of the... how It's been on you 20 see, years I, or something. I, I Alan love, doesn't watch Strictly. I love ballroom dancing. I love Strictly ballroom. Is that the film in Australia? What's that oh. called? But it was, honestly, it took over... One year, it took over our lives... Didn't Do you remember it? with um, Jill Hapenny many years ago? Yeah. But that's just, when you just thought, oh, I can't be watching this, oh, it's it, too much. It, and it, it goes on till Christmas, doesn't it? And then at Christmas Day, it's on again. Oh, um, yeah. But anyway, I'm into it now. I'm, I'm, you know, like everybody else, you get into it, you you get associated with all the characters and all the dancers. And... and we watch it and we have a laugh about it and we're thinking about what we can say on this Uh and we have a few drinks, and we have some nibbles, and it's just funny. Jason Darcy says, thank God we didn't get rid of Gorka. You I like, have a bit of Gorka, don't you? And Andrew Starr went, I don't, I don't do Strictly. <laughs> I don't do Strictly. I don't do Strictly. I don't do Strictly. <laughs> um, there's a lots of people who aren't watching it, some people who do watch it, and you don't have to watch it to enjoy the show. Um, but some people who do watch it are our giggle boxers. So should we hear from the giggle boxers? Oh yeah, the, let's, they'll, they'll, have, they'll have something to say, won't yeah, they? Yeah, let's hear what the giggle boxers have to say about Strictly, and we will be right back. Keep writing in the comments um, anything you want to tell us about Strictly. But handing over to the giggle boxers. I tell you what, man, get behind the sofa before the club man comes round. That's it, and close the curtains as well. All right, till love, bye. Da 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 bum 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 dum Keep dancing <sighs> Oh my god like I just got another 1k followers Yeah